Hello and today we're going to have a look at Hocus Pocus by Focus. Okay, buckle up everyone. This is not going to be easy. This is a, a amazing song that I've been asked to learn for a project, a future project that we'll discuss later on. Can't really go into the details right now, but it's pretty cool. I might do a little video around that as well. Well, I think it's cool anyway. We'll wait and see. One of the songs that I've got to play uh, is Hocus Pocus by Focus. Uh, Gord, help me. Now this I don't find easy to play, okay? So I'm not just strolling in here saying, hey, check this out, you know. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's not easy. For me, it's not easy. Uh, I think it'll get better, it'll get easier, and it'll get easier, but there are a few counterintuitive moves the way I'm playing it. And uh, there's a discussion later at the end about other styles to play, other ways to play it as well. But uh, it's a two guitar band that we're playing it with. There's a lot covered. So it's about having to choose, pick and choose the right bits to cover really and the right um, tones and the right pitches to accentuate because you don't have to do you know when someone writes a B11 chord down I very rarely play a B11 chord but I'll, I'll find the flavour of what they want and accentuate that because the guitar is going to be doing that anyway you know and it's going gonna, it's gonna to get messy and stuff so this is how I am going to play Hocus Pocus by focus and what I'd love you to do by the way and you do so I'm really grateful for that is to give me some advice here and let me know how you would do it differently uh, if, if it's commonly played differently and uh, different ways different ways of playing it things I've maybe not done the way I should things I have done really well I'm always up for that you know so let's let's have a bit of a go so the first thing I'll do is I shall play a little bit and then we'll go into breaking that down how does that sound Wonderful. Right, here goes then. Kind of the riff, isn't it? I'm doing it in E, which is what that band are tuned into, into root of E. Okay, so there's lots going on there. The counterintuitive stuff that I was telling you about is uh, the left hand bass notes aren't kind of corresponding to the right so it's all like loads of, loads of good uh, sevens and nines and what have you but let's not worry about that I'm going to show you where to put the fingers I remember having jazz piano lessons for a very short period of time when I was in my uh, late 20s and um, rightly or wrongly hint wrongly I said just just show me how to play some play some songs you know and he showed me how to play some jazz standards and stuff like that which was lovely at the time but I need more lessons now, don't I? Because I didn't understand the background of that. Maybe I just killed my own argument, I don't know. But anyway, let's just have a look at what I'm playing, right? Sounded about right to me. Maybe there's an extra seven I could put in somewhere. But we're looking, I'm looking at substitutions because the guitars are gonna be all over this. So it's about, it's about backing it up. The particular project is not an organ project, but it's an organ in it, so we'll see. So. You know the riff, right? If you go into the, the link below, I'll put a video there so you can have a listen to the entire song and, and get used to it and whatever. You've probably heard it before. It's the one that goes a bit weird at the end and the one that has a flute solo in it, right? But uh, no, I'm not going to get... No. So, here we go. Left hand on the A. All right, so. That's what's going on the left hand. So it's holding on the A as, you, as we're going there, and then it's going E, F, C, B flat, E on the left hand. Right hand is going Okay, there's two parts of that riff, that was the same part played twice by the way, just so you got the bit. So it's going, so you're in, you're in G fifth to A fifth. And then you're going G major to F major. C major. Could be a seven on there. 
at C, shall we? But we'll come back to that. Right. Then I'm going D minor, and then, which is this altered E, which has got a, an A flat, a D, and a G in it. So it's an E, uh, uh, so like an E with with the major and the minor in it. Beautiful, beautiful chord, that it. Okay, so. Okay, that's the first bit. Let's just do the first bit. And I really advise you play this slow, 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 right? Just start as slow as you can and take as long as you can to speed up. Don't learn the mistakes if you can help it. Your brain loves to trip on those mistakes. My brain is tripping on those mistakes. It, it really is. So, left hand staying on the A. So we'll put a seven on the C. Possibly. I think it might get a bit muddy with a lot of guitars, so I'm going to play that bit by ear. And that's why I've got that seven, that huge... Uh... And I've actually taken, see, I've taken the B out of it. I've taken the low E, I'm putting the low E down there. With a spread on the right hand and the root. All right, so we've got... The second part of it for me is a little bit easier. Again, there's some sevens and nines in there, so let's see how that goes. The start is the same. So that's the same. And then we're going to go D major, B major seven, and E major seven. All right. So, put, so it's going to go. And I'm trying to decide there whether I want to leave that E out and just go to, which I might do because it has a, it sounds like it's got that on it, hasn't it, right? So there's the, just play the, the D and the A flat on the right hand, if you see me cover that. And then the root. Interesting, isn't it? And again, you'll know when you get with the band and the guitar players are doing all their own bits, if they're slightly hesitant or there's a slight string bend or something, you might find some of those notes just clash a little bit. And whenever I'm in that situation, I might just pull back some of those uh, threes and sevens and nines, or you know, or, or the ones that feel as if they're just vibrating a little bit, you know. So we'll see. So we've got the whole bit now, haven't we? That's basically the, the um, well, it's verse, of course, I don't know, it's instrumental, isn't it? Um, let's call it the riff. Okay, then he goes into a, uh, a breakdown a bit, or he goes into a bit that goes into a, br a drum breakdown. And as far as I can make out, we're in fifths. And then there's a drum part. A5, so it's AE. And I'm doing some little inversions to make it easier for me to play. I'm going to, I'm basically going ACD. So C, and now I'm putting the G on the bottom. Yeah. And then I'm doing the same shape actually. But up again, start from the D, so I'm going to D, F, G. See that? So it's... And I suppose you can go... Both sound pretty good actually, don't they? I think it's inverted down, I think. Okay, so we've got that. 
break bit in, and there's the drums. Now we're going to go to the. Well, <laughs> no other way of saying it. The the yodeling bit. Okay. Now I've seen a couple of people play it a couple of ways, and that's interesting. Uh, so let's just break it down, I suppose, and see how we go. So left hand. Basically, I think I have that right. So A, E, F, C, D, A, B, D flat, E flat, E. Again, in my head, it doesn't bear that much resemblance to the right hand, which is what makes me learn mistakes too quickly. But over here, we're going to go... Okay. Now, this is the bit where I've seen people play in different ways. I've seen people actually go... Like that. Or I've seen people do chords. What do you think? I think the, I think the technique sounds quite nice, I think. And essentially, it's an E and a C, so you could have it down here. I think you probably could. Yeah, you could, yeah. But I think that span seems about right. Write in and let me know what you think. Uh, as always, your likes and your subscribes and your comments are, are the only reason why I'm doing it. So it's free to you to use. If you want to ask me some more questions or if you think, my life, how can this be free? Well, you can buy me a cup of coffee. Of course you can at Patreon. So you go to at Nick Foley UK on Patreon. You can buy me a cheap cup of coffee every now and again. That's lovely. It all helps, to be honest. Uh, these things don't oil themselves. So let's have another go at that, see what we can't do. So EC... Yeah, D, B, C, A, B, G, A, F, G, E, G flat, E flat, E. And there may be a E5 there, the B on it. Oop. Okay, so you remember the... That bit on the left hand side, so... I know, I know, right, because, of you, because you're going... Uh, So there's two hands that are slightly different there, and it's a bit, it plays tricks with the mind. I'm sure it plays tricks with your mind. But that is, the, that is the other bit, and that's where that yodeling thing comes on. Now, I've seen people play chords, as I've said, and I've seen people do the trill, which sounds quite nice. I'm going to see what happens, because the band I'm with have worked out a really cool guitar, twin guitar part that pulls that off. So if the timing's not there with my between the two, then I'll hold it to a chord. I'll do it like that instead. So we'll see about that. Well, we haven't got much left, have we, really? Uh, there's some crazy bits at the end, <laughs> which we, we can discuss. But on the whole, uh, now we've got this rising sound. And I've seen a couple of ways that people have done that as well. So let's go through my bit, and I'll have my foot on the Leslie pedal for extra madness later on. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, so we're going to go. It's uh, major minor time. There's a, there's a major. B flat major. 
So, uh, grammatic. C major. And then happy days. We're going to hold that same shape and we're going to go minor, minor to D minor. Which I've seen people play that instead, but I don't think it's that. So we've gone D minor, E minor. With an octave on top. All right, and then you're holding this single A at the bottom. And back into the verse. So that's mainly it. There is a, a strange bit that does a bit of three chord. Here you Now, happily, I don't get to play that bit because uh, then the flute solo comes in and I can't really play the flute, although I know someone who can, so maybe they should show me how to do this bit. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna major on that bit. I think that's just about a game for A to G is it? And they seem to go up a one four five of like a two. And then the It gets a bit strange there. Have a listen, see what you what you could pull off there. So, but that's at the very end, okay? So you got the three parts that we went through. We went through the that bit, and then went to the into the. drum part and then and after that slightly ropey bit there uh, from my point of view and then there was the ascending chord Okay, that shallot, as they say. So that's how I play Hocus Pocus by Focus. Um, it's taken me a while to get to that point, if I'm honest, and uh, in, next week I've got to record it. So I'm going to get my head down and record and get to it. My only bit of advice, really, slow, 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 because I was working it out and I was changing things, and then by the time I'd kind of got to a, a shape that I wanted to do, substituting the, the roots and moving them around, uh, it got to the point where my brain would just sort of fall and go, ah, buffer, buffer, and I wouldn't know where to throw my hands for the next bit. There are two, trick, two tricks for me for, for getting past things like this. One is to be just learn it by mechanical rote, and so your hands just go like that when they just do it. Uh, that's probably not the best way. It's probably not the most economical way of doing it, but slowly, slowly, slowly until your hands know where they're going. So super slow. If you can never make a mistake, and you'll never learn one. So if you can go super, super slow. And just keep building up like that. Then that's the best way possible, I think, for you to learn it. Speed up, speed up, and speed up. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. It's taken a long uh, time just to get to that level, but I noticed there wasn't anything really uh, knocking about, so I thought I'd get that to you and share it with you. Uh, because what are, what are we if we can't share? So I uh, hope you have a great time. Uh, share things, share experiences, uh, share your riffs with people and enjoy it when they play them. Okay, we're all in this together and we're all keeping this beautiful instrument alive. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much.